Hi all. I'm going to make um, a prawn curry. As you can see, I've got this a pack of cooked prawns from Tesco's. Um, I've got two chopped red onions, three green chilies, three garlic cubes and two tomatoes. Okay, so I've got my pan and I'm going to put about well, this much oil. Okay, I'm going to leave it for about a minute just so I can warm, so the oil warms up. I like it to be nice and hot before I throw in the onions. Okay, so now I've added the onions and I'm going to leave them for about three, four minutes now and let them cook. I want them to be nice and soft. You can use normal white onions, but I didn't have any in the house, so I've used red onions instead. Okay, so leave them for a few minutes and uh, let them cook, and we'll come back in a few minutes. So let's see what it looks like after three minutes. There you go, look. You can see it's sizzling away. Um, and now I'm going to add the two green chilies that I had. And as you can see, I've finally chopped them. Just going to add them in as well. Get that mix. And then put the lid back on for another few minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes now. And that's what it looks like. And now I'm going to add the garlic cubes, garlic and ginger cubes, sorry. Um, I'm putting three, only because it's prawns and we like them very, well we actually we like them quite garlicky, so I'm gonna add three in there, three. So one is ginger and garlic, and the other two are just garlic. You can buy these cubes, I've mentioned before, in the frozen section, in any supermarket. Very handy to uh, have in the freezer. Get it stuck together. Leave that for a few minutes and I'll come back and have a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes now, and as you can see, the garlic and ginger has now melted. I have chopped the two tomatoes that I had, and now I'm going to add those into the And once again, give them a little mix and then leave them for about two minutes again, uh, cover it up, two minutes, and then come back and see how it's doing. Okay, so let's have a look. So that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like now. And as you can see, the tomato has slowly started to melt. Definitely got softer. So what I'm going to do now is add some holy powder, which is turmeric. So here's my little pot, and I'm gonna add this much holy powder. And here I've got some basar, and I'm gonna add about three of these little spoons into that. One, Two. Okay, so one spoon of holy, three spoons of the facade, and then we give that a mix. Leave that now for about uh, two minutes, two three minutes, just so the spices can all mix together, infuse with the onions, the garlic, and the ginger. Um, and I have added um, two tablespoons of salt. That's it now. So I'm leave it for two three minutes. Sorry, three minutes, and then we'll, I'll come back and have a look. So it's been three minutes, as you can see. It's nice and cooked. 
what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of kettle boiled water, just about that much. And then just give it a little You could add more water if you'd like your sauce to be runny or if you like it to be thick, you can just put the amount of water I've put in. And now I'm going to open up the packet of the frozen prawns and add them in. So that's the packet of frozen prawns. What I'm going to do is just make sure each prawn is covered with the sauce that I've made. And then I'm going to put on a very low heat and just let it defrost and cook. Okay. So I'm going to put it on low heat now and I'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes now. This is what it looks like. Sorry, it's quite a, it's a bit of steam coming out. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay. So I'm just gonna cook them slowly. Um, what I'm going to do is add some garam masala. And I have finally chopped a handful of coriander, which I will show you. cover it back again and just let it simmer for about 10 minutes and then really it's made. You can have this with rice, you can have it with chapatis, naan bread, quinoa, it's up to you. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it for about 10 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like before I turn it off. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes now show you what it looks like. Unfortunately because of all the steam that's coming out you probably can't see it very clearly. Uh, it is made, it's all cooked now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the cooker now, take it off the stove cooker and let it cool down and I'll show you what it looks like. So you've got a bit of a clearer picture I guess. Right, so I've taken it off the stove and I'm sure you can see that one. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and that's it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let me know how you get on. It didn't take very long to cook either. Take care. Bye.